Okay, so we have this underground pipe and it comes up right here. So today, we are gonna put a minnow trap down there and see if there's anything living in there. So let's go set it up. Let's go. I'll sit in there. All right, so the whole entire point about this trap is, see these holes here? It's to where any kind of animal that's like a fish or something goes in there and it can't get out. Can't get out at all. And then, that's how you trap some stuff. So we're gonna place it just like this. And we have this little, I think it's called a, yeah, it's called a latch. So we're gonna go just like this. So thankfully, there's a rope over here in case anyone falls in. So we're gonna attach it right here. Let's go. There. Look down there. That is where we're going to be throwing this minnow trap in. Let's grab the rope, throw this in. Falling in, please. All right, let's get it. Let's give this a whip without falling in. All right, I say that's good enough. Let's wait until the morning, shall we? Let's do. Okay, it is the next day. Let's go check the minnow trap. Got anything? Oh, we we got a crawdad. What? Really? Yeah, we got a crawdad. He's in there. Yeah, we got one. Is there a crawdad in there? Yeah. Small one. He is underneath the bread. Sure. So this thing in the middle of nowhere, there's a crawdad in it? Yep. Where'd he go? He disappeared. Where'd did he go? I knock? Nope. Did he drop out of the hole? Nope. Under the bread somewhere? They like to hold on to the bread. So oh, I see him. Where? There he oh, is. Oh, yeah. There's a crawdad in there. Hold on, hold it right there. Got a min oh, mini? Got a crawdad? <laughs> You're right. There's stuff in here. You well, gonna whip it back in there and see what else you get? I'm gonna whip it back in there because right. crawdads are great bait. Oh, don't pinch me. Crawdads are good eating, man. Oh, yeah. You can have about 90 more of those and we can have a crawfish boil. Yes. With the, like the Cajuns. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't believe it. You're right. I was right. All right. Let's check back in the morning because I think that there's going to be another thing in there. You know, there. we need at least two crawdads for a crawdad boil. At least. Wait a second. Well, it two? is pretty small. Maybe oh, three. Oh, yeah. Well, Four or five. I'm impressed. We probably might let them go so there's more in there in the future. But yeah. let's check back tomorrow. Let's check back tomorrow. Now, if all goes well, we should be able to catch a minnow. But there probably is no minnows in here. Just probably crawdads. Crawdads are cool. Crawdads are cool. All right, let's check back tomorrow. Where do you think that crawdad came from? Well, what I have learned is that they are they live in Louisiana, correct? Yeah. So when they have heavy rains and storms, all of that water pushes all the crawdads into pipes and sometimes into Michigan like we found one in the creek. So that's probably what happened. Yeah, considering that the creek is basically an underground pipe, you might be onto something. Yeah. Maybe some of our raging Cajun friends can chime in on that. But I'll tell you what, I'm getting kind of hungry for a crawdad, you know what, surprise. Yeah, but let's not crawdad, say it out loud. Crawdad macaroni and cheese. Let's not say it out loud because Wouldn't that be good though? Here. Crawdad. You know what? That macaroni actually and cheese. Would, that would uh, be now really I really good. hope we do catch a bunch. What do you think? Crawdad yeah. macaroni and cheese? Yeah, um, but um, and we can also make pepperoni out of it because I love pepperoni. Pepperoni made out of crawdads? You know what? We though? really need to catch more crawdads. Um, we do. Yeah, because I like love pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni you know, is pretty good. You know what? Maybe now we should go down to Louisiana. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have a cousin, a couple of cousins and that were down there. I bet you they could set us up, they Steve and Linda. Could. Yeah, they're probably yeah. good. Yeah, you guys would like them. They're awesome. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, yum, yum. Mmm. Well, let's check back tomorrow. Let's check back tomorrow. Yeah. There'll be 96 of them in there. <gasps> um, let's hope. What if there's so 20, 80, 90, 60 in there? That'd do it. We need more than a baby one. We need more. For a taste. You know what? Comment your guesses down below. See how many. Let's. You guys comment how much you think are going to be in the trap. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. 
we'll stay stay tuned and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Alright guys, it's the next morning. Let's check the minnow trap. What do you think we have? I think we're gonna have some more crawdads. Let's go look. See what we got. Hoping we got more crawdads. The bread's gone. Oh, there's our crawdad friend. Anything oh, else? Oh no, his butt is stuck. There he is. Oh, we got another one. And yeah, there's several crawdads there in there. Are? Yeah, oh there's my one there. There's one there. Well, it looks like we're going to be having a crawdad stew. I'm excited. Oh. Hey, everybody. All right. Let's see what we got, okay? All right. Take this thing apart. I've been wanting to have crawdad for quite a while. Have you ever seen a crawdad? That's a crawdad. Look at how big he is. Ooh, he's living in the ditch. Let's put him in the crawdad carrying unit. Okay, now who else is in here? Should we give him a piece of bread to live on? Yeah. Ooh, big movement in the in the ditch. All right, who else is in here? I thought I saw two or we, more. Yeah, we have two. Where'd you go? He's in there. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. That is a monster. A monster. Ooh, ah! no! He actually got you? Yes, his pinchers are gigantic. He's in a defensive position. Let me see if I can get him out without getting tagged. Okay. These are huge. Oh! He hates that. He does not like that, does he? Okay. Yeah. That's another huge ditch crawdad, Michigan style. All right, let's see what else we got. I think that we got a bass in here because we just saw a big movement. E no. We have to get the top waters out, huh? Yeah, if that's I'm just not checking it, below then. the bread. Who would, is that one? Wait, do we have another? That looks like a weed. Oop. Well, two is better than one. Two is better than one. Should we uh, throw it back in, see what happens tomorrow? Yeah, we should. We'll let everybody know if we caught anything. But for now, let's get this set. Go like that. Put the end on it. Wherever it is, there it is. Live on the way to the airport, don't we? Yep. All right, I'm gonna throw it in the deep end. Let's do it. Put off the rope, please. Oh, yep. Sorry about that. Okay, it's very deep right there. Oh, Amazing! Way in there. Awesome! All right. Look at those monsters. Yum 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 yum. All right. Wow, they're giant. Kids, do not try this at home. In fact, don't do it at all. I mean, it's dangerous. You have to do it with a parent. In fact, don't do it at all. It's dangerous, man. Science project, right? Don't do it. But watch till the end. Watch till the end. These crowd ads are fresh. All right, this is gonna be our catch and cook burner. How many people out there have a gas grill that has a burner on the side? Do you know what that's for? That's for dads to cook outside with because they're not allowed inside. So let's fire this thing up because we need to boil water if we're gonna make crawdads. Yeah, look at that. All right. All right, now we need a big enough pot to hold those crawdads. Let's get that on the fire. I think this will do. Oh boy, okay, put it on there. Without getting burned. Yep, don't get burned. Here, I'll turn it down. There you go. Put it right in the center. Without it falling. Perfect, now you bring your water to a boil. Check back when it's boiling. Kids, remember, do not do this without a parent around. In fact, don't do it at all. This is a science project that we're doing. Okay, for reference, there you see a can and then our pot. So it's a very, very big pot. Right. <laughs> While your water is warming up, getting to boiling, that's when you track down your Cajun spices and get ready for them crawdads. Let's 
So at least you do understand that the point of all this is a science project. Yeah. So you can see the pinchers. We don't want to stress them out too much. Pinchers are there for food and for defense. They move backwards. But I'm impressed that you're not freaked out by them. Hey. While that, while that water is boiling, we're going to assemble our spices, our Cajun spices. Put in your spice in there. It's going to be good. All right, we're to a rolling boil. This thing right here is our heat shield. Get out of there, man. All right, now we dump in our Cajun seasonings. Let that boil for a minute. Caught that cam. Pretty soon you're going into the jacuzzi. Hot tub. Hot tub. All right, see if you can pick one up. All right. I'm going to pick the most feistiest one up. I'm going to go just like this. You think this. it's about a two-pounder? Yeah. Damn, he. He don't like still trying to... Are you messing with her food? Maybe. Their pinchers are so huge, I don't want you to they get... They pinched me. Oh, man. Oh. oh. This kind of hard because you got to reach way in there to get them. Uh-oh, there's a war. Oh no. Crawdad war. All right, to pick up a crawdad, you gotta pick them up with your fingers from their back, on their body, not from their tail. Did you do it? Yep. Let me see that thing. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do a lobster also. That thing is gigantic. Should I get pinched? You don't want to get pinched. Your pinchers are huge. Don't do it. Come Let's down. Get them up to the fire. Comment down, comment down below if I should put my finger in. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Come on, pinch me. You're crazy. All right, take the crawdad. Well, no, no, hold on a second. This is actually a baby, folks. And this entire thing has just been a science project and a yarn spun for your enjoyment. I kind of feel sorry they're babies. I feel sorry for them. What do you think? Should we just go let them go? You know what? Let's let them Let's go. Let's do it. They're Remember, babies. if you have a creek or a river or a lake or a pond where you're at and you're a kid, don't just go out there. This is a science project. Yeah. We've done this before. We had safety ropes and stuff yeah. on that high thing. And these are babies. You can eat crawdads, but we kind of want them to grow up and check on them in a year, yeah. don't we? We do. Right. They're just too precious. I no, no, no. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll keep doing science projects and all sorts of other stuff. And make sure to hit the bell so then you get notifications every time that we post a new video. One of the things to remember is that if you have water on your property, you gotta be safe around it. You know, don't jump into it. Don't go out there if you're a kid without a parent. And even if you're a parent, be careful. But more importantly, that all little pools of water support some kind of life. Now, tire is full of water, mosquitoes dump that stuff out, but little things like this, little bodies of water will have anything from crawfish like what we saw to frogs and other things that may not seem important, but they're very important to the ecosystem. If you're a kid, that's your science project this week is to have your parent, or if I'm sure you know about computers, Google and search online and learn about these ecosystems that are all around us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Definitely subscribe and do what else. And hit the bell so then you get notifications every single time that we post a video. So you don't want to miss anything. Thanks for watching. Okay, now we got to go fold laundry.